What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy with JMED's Brick Clicks. I updated my Lego Batwing mower. We'll take a look at it here in just a second. I got lucky enough to get some decent footage of the State Highway's Batwing mower. So let's take a look at that and we'll jump back to this. I love when I get to see the State Highway mowers using their Batwing mower and their tractor out because it gives me some I guess inspiration to build the stuff. Now I made my Batwing mower, it's been three or four years ago. You can hear the cars going by. But yeah, really cool to get to see them. I guess up close, I mean I see them all the time, but when they're parked, and I actually get a chance to video them. So let's take a look and see what it looks like in Lego style. All right, so the first thing, I had to take off the, the loader bucket off the front, so easy enough, just to make it look a little bit more similar. Now, like I said, I made this Batwing mower here, it's been uh, two or three years ago. So, what we've added to it, the, one of the things I forgot, at least on the tractor, was the little safety flap here. This little, I don't know, it's like a little guard to where stuff doesn't shoot up from the front and up into the cab operator station. So yeah, that's uh, pretty simple. See how that's built, just using some of those arm pieces. Uh, it's connected using the little piece that come with minifigures. I think they're used for like the blasters and stuff like that to be able to let them hold different pieces. And then just a piece of fence, but then we can lower it down, raise it up to get that angle right. Now, the other things I've added to my Batwing, yeah, the old one had different color tires, so to try to make it more of a John Deere color, and I'm not trying to mimic the one that we just saw because it's a totally different brand and a lighter color green, but I had the yellow tires, so we did that. We also added the hydraulic lines, which for my, any of my sets, I just use those string pieces with the stud on both sides, and yeah, let's pop this down. So bat wing, because you can raise and lower the wings. There's how our connections are. We will turn it over. And yeah, each one of them spin. Why did I use brown? I don't know. I think I just had brown pieces. Using black, it's kind of harder to see. Pro I should probably use light or dark bluish gray for my uh, cutting blades. But anyway, yeah. It's okay. So we had to redo the front just a little bit so I could add this on. So if you watch one of my older videos from a couple years ago or one of my compilation videos of all my tractor attachments, um, it will look a little different up here on the front. Everything else on the top stayed the same. The one thing that stands out, yeah, it's those light bluish gray hinges. I had to use those because that, does, that piece doesn't exist in black. The double or the one by four with the two hinges on it. Yeah, that doesn't exist in black. Um, I don't even think it exists in dark bluish gray. So I had white, which was even worse. So at least we're getting a little bit darker as we go on the color scheme. But anyway, that's what it looks like. Now, if we need to mow, we can pop it up a little bit. I will put it in our farm here in just a second so you can see how this works. Just because I know some people like seeing the farm and yeah, I built it. I might as well show it off. So... Let's pop it up into the transport mode. That way it fits basically down a highway, one lane of a highway. And off we go to the farm. Okay, we got him in here. I guess I probably ought to move that horse back just a little bit. But he's in here cutting. Where we have all the horses. The horses have kind of scattered all down to the bottom of the hill. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. So there's our elevation change. At least, uh, kind of just looking like that, it's really hard to tell elevation change. When you look like that, yeah, there's a decent amount. So, just one of the full big rock pieces, or those, just to give you a height measurement. Anyway, here we go. We've got it there. And the good thing is, like, this will flex a little bit. So, yeah, you can see it flexing up and down to go with the contour of the land. If I need to, if I need to get down lower, say I'm mowing in a ditch, we can 
pop that up just a little bit or maybe it's not level down there but I mean, anyway that's my bat wing mower i know if you've been around you've seen it before after a couple years sometimes stuff comes to me and i think i could probably upgrade that adding little things like this and my hydraulic lines it's just little things there here and there that add more realism or maybe something that i forgot about adding so anyway that's the bat wing mower we'll get back to the farm pretty soon we're going to get some big changes here in the pretty near future i need to do a time lapse i think to maybe change this out to a summer setting and get rid of these spring trees since i think today our heat index is 105 degrees so yeah it's it's time to get rid of the spring stuff here in missouri and get into some summertime probably some hay yeah we're gonna put some hay bales out in the field all right thanks for watching everyone we'll see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe